Eric, we'll start with you. Prosecuting on what was through that plan over time um, when you had that TFL return? Um, well, we had a stunt that was once around on that play, and I just seen the, um, the guard and the tackle, how they were moving. And it wasn't, you know what I'm saying, usual. They weren't attacking or anything like that. So I was just reading it and, and playing with my hat on fire and attacking the ball. Casey? Can you walk us through what runs through your mind on third and fourth down and how it differs compared to a first and second down? Um, I'm, just, I'm just trying to get the call or talk to my teammates because for one of these is super loud, the state will be going crazy. And just trying to attack and get off the ball as fast and hard as I can to go, man, pressure or sack the quarterback. Eric, again? Yeah, kind of on that, we talk about, you know, crowd noise affecting the offense a lot on the road, right? But I mean, third, fourth out, it's loud. I mean, like, does that fuel you guys? Is it hard to concentrate sometimes? I mean, you know, what do you think about the noise in that situation? I think it fuels everyone on the field at the time, you know what I'm saying? It's loud, shaky, you can barely hear the guys next to you. It's a great atmosphere to be in, man. We enjoy it, we love it. And to say it distracts us, I don't really think it distracts no one. I just think we all out there just feeling it, embracing it, and man, trying to make the crowd get even louder, trying to make a play, so yeah, that's what it is. Vince? What are your reaction to losing Keenan for the season and any interaction you've had with him since uh, you found out? I want to talk to him this morning, told him I pray for him. It's, you know, you hate to hear that. KP is such a good dude, great leader, you know what I'm saying? He brings a lot of energy, he flies to the ball. I've been talking about how his play just gives other guys energy. So as you know, it's going to be a downfall for us regardless, but it's time for other guys to step up and fill in the KP shoes. And we know KP going to be there for us uh, on the sidelines, supporting us, giving his tips, helping his guys out all he can. So it's like he gone, but he really, you know what I'm saying, still going to be here and find ways to be effective to the team to help us out. Uh, Frank? What does this uh, rivalry mean with Alabama mean to you? It means everything to me growing up in Memphis, Tennessee, me personally, I just never liked Alabama like growing up because they always win, so I'm an underdog kind of dude. But, um, you know, the, the, the history of the two schools, man, it speaks for itself, and I'm just ready to go out there and play for the battle team. Paige? Building off of that, what do you remember from when Jason Grass kicked the field goal to walk it off in 22? <laughs> I just remember running out on the field, celebrating with everybody else, man, feeling accomplished and just feeling that joy of being, you know, like a, such a school like Alabama, which is kind of like a standard of college, you know what I'm saying? So just being there was a great feeling. I enjoyed it so much. Eric? Obviously a big challenge coming up with a good offense and a quarterback that can make a lot of things happen. Um, a mobile quarterback extending plays, how is that challenging for a defensive lineman like yourself? Um, just making sure we keep him in the pocket, make sure we very conscientious of our wrestling lane so he won't have an open lane and just skirt through or try to continue to extend plays with his legs and arms, just things like that. Just make sure we do everything we can to contain him and make sure and make it hard on him, you know what I'm saying? Because I feel like, well, everybody feels like he's the heart of the offense. So just try to contain him the best we can and pressure him and just throw him off his game. Yeah. What, what else stands out about Alabama's offense besides obviously Joe Burrow? Those big dudes that's uh, guarding them up front, they all super big. Play, look like they have great play strength. They're just, man, just ready to get after it. That's really about it. And of course, everyone knows the little freshman guy. Well, not the little freshman guy. I'm not trying to disrespect them, but the freshman. And um, just things like that. They got some guys that can make a lot of plays. And it's, it's just a good group. Of, a good group of Rogers going to test this defense and see what we're really about. Anything else for Bryson? Paige? Singing, I just feel like every guy that's just trying to play for one another, have fun. That's a that's a key thing. We really just key on like you got to go out there and have fun and play hard and play religious. So just playing religious, having fun, you know, talking, communicate with the guys next to you, and just having that back at the end of the day. So we all can eat. Anything else? All right, thanks, Bryson.